Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain how to write one data frame output into single file and also with specific file name. This is quite challenging with Spark environment. Why? Because Spark is in-memory and distributed platform, which means when some data is processed within Spark engine, data would be split um, across multiple executors in the form of partitions. So when we are writing the certain output into target system, what happens is many executors, within those many executors, we are having multiple cores. Those cores will be processing certain portion of the data and each and every core will be writing the output into target location. As a result, we will get multiple partition files as an output under a folder. So we can only specify the folder name, but not the file name. Even if you want uh, the output into single file, then you know we can apply some repartition technique like repartition or collage. That uh, in that way we can uh, convert the multiple partitions into single partition and we can get one single output file. But still getting the file with a specific file name that is quite challenging. That is not possible. In the Spark environment we can give only the folder name. Only uh, we can specify the folder name but not the file name file name will be generated automatically based on some uh, spark standard but in this tutorial i am going to explain what is the workaround how we can write the data frame output into single file and also with specific file name let's get started with the demo i have logged into my azure storage location this is azure data lake storage within that i have a container demo and a folder sales within the sales folder i have uploaded one file sales data it is in the form of parquet and I have also created one output uh, folder uh, to write uh, the output into single file with a specific file name. Currently, this is empty. I have opened that folder, but it is empty. So I am going to use this uh, sales data for this demo. I have also logged into my Databricks environment and the cluster is up and running. Now the first step is I am going to check if uh, my Databricks is able to talk to Azure Data Lake Storage. I have already created mount point. So this command should be able to talk to Azure Data Lake Storage and it will list down all the files under this uh, folder. Let me execute this step. The execution is completed and we can see the output. It has listed down one folder and one file sales uh, data dot parquet. Now in the next step, I'm going to create the input data frame based on the sales data parquet. Let me execute this step. The execution is successful and we can see the output data. This is a sales uh, data frame. Now let me check uh, the count for this data frame using count function. It is having good amount of data. We can see the count here. In the next step, I'm going to apply one wide transformation. Here, this transformation is not important. Just for example, I am uh, doing some, you know, some dummy transformation. But the key concept that we, we need to understand here is I am applying white transformation. So in Spark, white transformation would uh, initiate shuffle, which means data would be shuffled across uh, different executors and it will create multiple partitions. So let me execute this step. Basically, I am creating a row number using the window function. So for all the records, it will apply, uh, it will create a row number. In the next step, I'm going to write this output into my Azure Data Lake Storage and I'm specifying the folder output original under sales. Currently, we don't have this folder under sales. Here, we don't have any folder. But coming to Spark environment, we can specify, specify a particular folder and that will be created automatically. So let me execute this step. So the write is successful. Now let me go to the sales uh, storage location and let me check the file under this folder. Here we can see the output folder got created. Let me open. Within that we can see multiple partition files. Now the first three files, these are supporting files for Spark operation. We can ignore that. And apart from uh, that, you know, we are having four output files. Now these are the four different partition files. Uh, and the name is uh, auto generated by Spark engine. So by default, Spark will create many partition files for one particular data frame. 
now my requirement is i have to get the output into single uh, file so for that what we can do is we can apply the function coalesce basically coalesce will uh, reduce the number of partitions within the coalesce function i am uh, passing the parameter 1 which means i want to convert all the partitions into one partition so this logic will ensure we are we are uh, converting all the data into one single partition then based on that we are uh, writing this time i'm giving different folder name output single file so currently we don't have that folder we don't have uh, that uh, single file uh, folder now let me execute this step then let's see what happens the write is successful again let me get it in, get into this folder and let's see the output now output single file this is the folder we specified let me get into that it has uh, created only one output file it has created three uh, supporting files we can ignore but this is the data file it has created only one output file but it has created only one output file but still it has uh, 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 it has created uh, art, uh, based on auto generated file name but my requirement is i have to create single file and also with a specific file name so how we can do so let me try in spark environment first before proceeding to next step let me clean up the folder that uh, got created as part of this step so in order to clean up i have to use rm command let me execute this step it's done let me go back to data lake storage and uh, refresh and that uh, file that folder got deleted now in the next step i am going to use spark uh, programming pyspark to create a specific file name for the output file for that i am using same coalesce in order to convert it to into single file but now this time under that output single file folder i am specifying specifying particular file name that is output single file dot csv now let's see what happens the write is successful now let me check what is the output under this folder let me execute this step here if you look at this one you now it has created one folder once again within this output single file that folder name is called output single, single file dot csv so we have specified the file name but what happened is it has created one more folder it's actually folder the size is zero let me get it get back to my uh, sales Azure data lake storage it has created a folder output single file but within that again it has created a folder that is uh, named output single file dot csv but within that it has created partition file with auto generated name but this is not what i am looking for so i want the output with specific file name so how we can do so it's confirmed that it's concluded that we cannot uh, give a specific file name in a spark engine so we need uh, some workaround so in this example i'm going to use the workaround of using the panda data frame so the solution is uh, simple we have to convert our data frame into pandas data frame so in this step i am converting our data frame into pandas then i am displaying pa pandas data frame can be displayed using print statement let me execute this step now our data frame is converted to pandas data frame and also we can see the output one thing you can notice uh, uh, that is along with pandas data frame output you know we can see one extra column that is called index so whenever we are uh, converting uh, spark data frame into pandas data frame it will always add one extra column that is index so in case we don't want this uh, index column in our output then we should remove while writing so i will show that as well so let us uh, move to the next step the next step i am going to just list down what are the output file uh, we are having under this particular folder output single specific file name this is the folder name I showed in, uh, at the beginning. Currently, we don't have any data. So, but uh, coming to Spark Data Frame, right? You now we have never uh, created uh, the output uh, folder initially. But now, you know, while writing uh, through Pandas, you know, we have already created this uh, folder. Why? We are coming to Spark. You know, we can uh, specify folder name which is not available, but still it will be created by Spark Engine automatically. It will not throw any error. But coming to pandas you now we have to create the folder manually then uh, at the time of uh, writing uh, the output 
pandas uh, would expect that folder to be present in case the folder is not present it will throw error that's the reason i have already created this this uh, storage location then i am listing down currently we don't have anything now i am going to write this pandas data frame output into that particular location and i am also giving specific file name so uh, that file name is sales output.csv and here i don't want the index that's the reason i am giving false in case you are interested in uh, index also then we can uh, specify true by default it will be true and also we can uh, you know if you want the header or you don't want header based on that we can specify another property header equal to false or true but in this example i am not going with that option i am just uh, giving only index equal to false let me execute this step the execution is successful now let us get back to uh, azure uh, data lake storage and let's see the output under this folder under this folder let me refresh we got the output with specific file name sales output.csv this is what uh, this is uh, our requirement and uh, finally we achieved the solution using pandas data frame workaround let me see the output of this uh, uh, this uh, file which was uh, created based on pandas data frame so for that i am using file system command get i am mentioning the file name along with the path let me execute uh, hope you understood how to write one uh, spark data frame output into single file with a specific file name hope you enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel also please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button to get the latest uh, uh, updates or development tips on uh, Databricks. Thank you.